Hello, this is Natalie of the Vintage Cross Stitch Niche bringing you an entire video about scissors. Scissors. This video is 100% scissors. That's it. We're going to show you different brands, vintage, brand new, what to look for, what to pass up, how to maintain them, tricks of the trade to get a good deal, and some brands you may have never heard of. So today, let's talk about scissors. Now, this video, I tr this is the second time I'm shooting this video. The first time I had the camera down on the scissors and they did not focus. So some of the scissors were out of focus and it was driving me crazy. So I decided to reshoot this video and hold the scissors up. You may not see my whole head because the focus is down here. That's Ragnar, by the way. So, and he was sitting at the door looking very sad because I didn't want to let him in. Let's begin. So first off, we'll show you some typical uh, larger scissors. Oh, and I forgot one that's sitting right here. Let me get these. These larger scissors in cross stitch are used to cut fabric. They're used to cut linen. They're used to cut uh, sewing fabrics for finishing. These are Fiskar Holiday. Holiday. Now both of these I got at, on the clearance section at Marshalls. And I think I paid 10 bucks for both. This one has snowflakes, and this one has, like, uh, I guess a Nordic scene. And these Fiskar scissors are sharp. Let me tell you, for the price, you can't get a better, a better sharper scissor. So if you see these figural uh, Fiskars for different holidays, especially if you see them on clearance, gobble them up because Excellent scissors. I'm happy to cut anything with these. I cut fabric and I have cut wrapping paper. Yes, I know. Okay, next up, you, so here you have the inexpensive, and here are the expensive. These are the Kohana sewing scissors. I'm not sure what they run right now. I could look them up on Kohana, but they're probably, they're easily over $100 shipped. You will buy these on the Kohana website. They are cheaper, even with the shipping from the, uh, from, from Japan. In terms of sharpness, I will tell you they're both the same. In terms of beauty, Kohana's got it. Look at the lacquer finish. Look how even pretty these blades are. They're just, you can tell the quality is higher. Just beautiful. What I haven't discovered yet is if Kohana will, will sharpen these for you. I'm hoping they will. They're worth mailing back to sharpen if they will, so we'll see. But beautiful scissors. Do not let anybody cut wrapping paper with these. Don't let people cut their nails. Well, that would be weird, but don't let people go out and cut vegetables with them. Yeah, all this has been done with my scissors. So let's, um, you save these, but they're beautiful. But these are sharp and cheaper and work the same. Okay, so now we have a few pairs of just sort of smaller scissors. We'll go over. And these are sort of medium-sized scissors. Okay. This pair is from Italy. Um, I don't even know the brand. Hold on. I'm going to put my, my trusty magnifiers on. I got these on eBay a very long time ago. Uh, these are Klaus. K 
K-L-A-U-S-S. -S. Super sharp. These are sort of an all-purpose scissor. You can use them for just about anything, including cross-stitch. These are maybe five centimeters. I don't know. Um, excuse me, maybe five inches. Klaus from Italy. Now you will see a theme throughout this video about where the best scissors come from. Klaus, Italy, medium size. Uh, I don't have a small pair, but I'm sure they're fine. These are also made in Japan, Olfa. Got these on 40 with a 40% off coupon at Michael's. You, you could cut your finger off with this. I'm not telling you to do that, but you could cut your finger off. They are so sharp. These are slightly larger than my, what I would seem comfortable with a, for an embroidery scissor, but they can easily be used to cut floss, to cut for applique, for anything. Olfa scissors, super sharp. The quality of Kohana, with a plastic handle, but not the price. They're less than half the price. Beautiful. Probably with a coupon, you can get these for 20 bucks. An oldie but a goodie. These are old Hoffritz. Now, I've never seen a big bird like this, and these were bought as new old stock. New old stock is what you want to look for in a scissor because that means they will come sharp and pretty. Otherwise you have to worry about can I sharpen them or can't I. Hoffritz is a very well-known German company. I don't believe they make sewing and embroidery scissors anymore. I could be wrong on that, but I don't believe that. This is an old scissor that was new in the package when I got it, sharp as can be and cool. I have cut fabric with it very easily. These are antique scissors. This one just says some letters on it and Sologen. I found this at a thrift store for 25 cents. Took a chance. It sharpened up perfectly. So look for old scissors. Once again, the larger ones are going to be, well, I didn't say this before, but the larger ones are going to be easier to sharpen. Keep that in mind. Small scissors are harder to put on a sharpener. And make sure they're tight, meaning the blades close tightly. You can't do anything about this screw if it's screwed in all the way. You certainly can try. I figured for 25 cents it was worth it, and these cut. I do not use them to cut anything fine, but I have used them to cut paper, <laughs> um, applique, you name it, but they're really good. These were made by Boker, and I do have a Boker USA. Got these on eBay, sharpened them up, they're perfect. I'm not spending too much time on vintage because there's so many different ones. These were made by, again, a company I don't know. This was a thrifty find, sharpened up perfectly. If you find a pair like this that says made in the USA, made in England, made in Germany, and they're cheap, and they're tight, meaning they close fully. They close fully, and they have a little sound when you, when you close them. And they, the tips meet. They usually can be sharpened up perfectly. And you will have a fun pair of scissors. Enough of that, because all of you want to be talking about embroidery scissors. Okay. Let's go through some real nice ones I have here. These are Dovos. Dovos are no longer made. Very sad. The company now only makes shaving equipment. They may make scissors for barbers and things, but they certainly do not make new embroidery scissors. To me, this is where everyone else is compared to. So this is the benchmark. Dovo scissors. They feel good in your hand. They're soft. They're sharp. They're beautiful. If you come across a pair, buy them without hesitation. Obviously, 
paying attention to price. Don't overpay because there's lots of good scissors out there. Dovo, beautiful. Can they sharpen up? I don't know. I haven't, I've had this about 10 years and I haven't had to sharpen it and I've used it. So obviously keep their sharpness. I'm going to email some of these companies and see if they will take their scissors back and sharpen them if you mail them in. This is an old pair of German scissors. Once again, they're slightly bigger, but I will tell you they're very tight. You can hear that. And I sharpen them without hesitation. Just an example. And these are pretty much, it wouldn't shock me if these were Dovo. They actually feel just like them. Just an old pair. You're going to see old and new. These are Wasa. This is an older pair of Wasa. Let me see if I can find. I have one, two, three pairs of Wasa. Wasa are readily available scissors. They are from Germany. They are made in Germany. They are very sharp. Okay? This is an older pair which I bought and sharpened easily and they have kept their sharpness, which tells me they were made quality. So these are newer. You can readily buy Wasa scissors. You will not go wrong. Do not pay more than $50, $60 for them. There's no reason to. They are readily available. If you're gonna buy them used, make sure that they are tight. Do, they, do you take a small amount of effort to open and close? Make sure they're tight and you can, for the most part, put these on a sharpener. And I do have a scissor sharpener made by that same company who makes knife sharpeners. I'm, I will look it up, I forgot, but um, you can. Or you can give them to a local sharpener person and they will. Wasa, beautiful German scissors. I just want to keep, I just love looking at my scissors, boy. Here is a company that's based in Switzerland called, this is an example, Klotzli. I thought these were made in Switzerland, but they're actually these embroidery scissors on Klotzli, that's spelled K-L-O-T-Z, Klotzlu, K-L-O-T-Z-U. They sell directly and mail to the U.S. I think these are 36 Swiss francs, which is about 40 bucks. These qualities are on par with my Dovo. Heavy weight, sharp as can be, beautiful feel and look. Klotzlu scissors. They do have some on Etsy that, say, that look like children's scissors. Don't buy those. You want ones with a little point, a real embroidery scissor, a small point, something very small, you know, no more than four inches, preferably three and a half, and figural. I mean, this has got a little, what is that, a rabbit? But clots loo. I, I would buy, a, I'm going to look for more pairs of these because I love them so much, but this is a top quality scissor. The company is out of Switzerland, but the actual scissors are made across the border in, um, in Italy. But apparently they are using Swiss standards making those. Next, French scissors called Bowen, B-O-H-I-N. You will not go wrong with these scissors for the price. Bowens are anywhere from eight to thirty dollars. Available readily, made in France, sharp as can be. Beautiful scissors have a nice feel to them. For the price, I think they're they can't be beat. These scissors, like if you want to spend twenty five dollars or thirty dollars on a scissor exchange, get a pair of Bowens. They're to me, I think they're highly. They're a little more polished, a little finer, a little nicer than the Ginger, but the Ginger has another, has another bonus, and we'll get to that. But they're beautiful, and they come in all different figural sizes and shapes. Bowen scissors. 
I don't think I have another pair. I think that's it. This is an this is this is an interesting pair. These are made by Ernest Wright in England. Sort of a, a waiting list to get these. I think I paid around forty dollars. They're just beautiful handmade scissors. Made in England by a company uh, that is hand crafting scissors. If Ernest Wright are beautiful. They're Sheffield. Sheffield's very well known for cutlery, for silver, but beautiful scissors. I have another pair. I don't know if they're in here where I put them. Here they are. This is another pair made in Sheffield. These were, so, uh, these were new old stock. I have no idea if they're legit. <laughs> I did buy them, but I like my Ernest Wright better. You can see the quality. Ernest Wright. Now, let me see if there's, I got these on Etsy. I found them, it's the only place I found them. So let me look and see what I paid and what they go for now. I bought them maybe, I don't know, not that long ago, a year. Let's see if I can find them. Um, Ernest Wright scissors, cannot go wrong. Beautiful, beautiful quality, definitely up there. Ernest Wright scissors, uh, 60, $62 I did pay plus shipping. And it was a total of 75. I'm gonna tell you because this is about what you'll pay, you'll actually pay more for Dovos now because you can't find them. For $75, this is a real treat. Um, that's about what you'll pay for your Kohanas and uh, I actually think uh, these are heirloom scissors. Beautiful, beautiful. These are uh, a scissor by a company named Nippies, N-I-P-P-E-S, who make manicure sets and things. And it's made, once again, in Germany. Nippies, N-I-P-P-E-S. These were a surprise. I ordered these off of Amazon. They were 30 bucks, free shipping, all the way from Germany. They took a few weeks to get here. They're fantastic. They're solid, beautiful, I'll say they're, they're, they're on level, and once again, one of the elite level, like Dovo. Just, you can tell by the way they're polished, by the way they're made, that they're made with care and really nice. They also sell manicure scissors and thing, but these nippies have a figural sort of look to them. They look like antique scissors. If I found these again, I would buy another. I recently went on Amazon and they were out of stock, but I'm sure they'll come back. N-I-P-P-E-S, Nippy Scissors, beautiful. And again, they were not very expensive for what they were. I love them. We're up to Kohana. Every, these are all the rage. Everyone loves Kohana. And they have a beautiful lacquer finish. Beautiful colors they come in. They're sharp as can be. They're real pretty. They're not cheap. Now, they're anywhere from $65 or so on the Kohana website to $160 on other websites and other places. Be very cognizant of price. You can buy these. You can buy these directly from Kohana, and they do come out with special colors that, that will that will sell out. I have another one. I have a pink one. Where did I put my pink one? Yeah, I have four pairs. I'm like everybody else. Let's see. Did I put my pink one in here? This is a Kohana box, too. Did I put my pink one in here? Let's see what I got. Yes, I did. Okay. Wanted to make sure I got... So I actually have five pairs. I have a red one too, and I don't know where they are. Every one of these was bought on their website. Keep an eye, they list them, they go. They have special colors. I believe the reds are always pretty much in stock. 60, 65 or so, shipping is another 15. So for 75, 80, you get these, and they're a lot more if you buy them from a US-based seller. 
I guess the wholesale price must be very high on them too. Um, they're great scissors. They're expensive. I don't know how they hold up. I haven't had them long enough, but they're really great. They're sharp as can be. Um, a real treat. Really nice. Next, these are made by um, Seiju. Now this particular pair is pretty nice and solid. They're real pretty, they're sharp. I will tell you, I bought a pair of Seiju and I returned them. Was not impressed with the quality of the scissor part. Uh, maybe it's just lately what they're making, but they, they seemed flimsy for the price. The handles are what's nice on the Seiji. They have all these mother of pearl and different colors and things. Uh, beautiful. So they're more of a decorative. I don't think the quality of the scissor is there for what they're charging, but um, these are pretty nice. These are a Seiju. If you can find maybe an older pair, like a new old stock, I highly recommend that. I'm not saying don't buy Seiju. I'm saying that if they are, if you're going to buy them, buy them for looks. I don't think the quality is nearly as good as some of the others I've showed you in terms of in terms of their actual scissor quality. But um, they are pretty. They are pretty. I mean, look how beautiful these look. And these were the least expensive Seiju. I don't think I paid very much for those. Next, I have some relatively inexpensive Japanese scissors, okay? These are made by Kai, K-A-I. They are an embroidery scissor. They're nothing to look at. They've got sort of plastic handles, whatever, but these, these blades are amazing. They are the same quality as Kohana blades, absolutely razor sharp, beautiful, but these are 30 bucks, okay? Just to let you know. So if you want functional, you want Japanese quality, beautiful, these Kai, and it's the Kai, I'll tell you what, these are, uh, they make more than one. These are the 7100 series. There's another number on there, I don't know what that is, because they do make different levels. These are 30 bucks, let's see. They said D21 on them. Beautiful, Amazon has these, highly recommend them. Definitely, they're Kahanas. They're the poor man's Kahanas. That's what I'm gonna call them. These are made by um, another co company on Seiki, S-E-K-I. I had to remember that, on Amazon. Super sharp. I mean, they aren't, they're, they're great scissors for the price. And they have a cute little plastic handle and they were $7. Seiki, S-E-K-I. Once again, this is a poor man's Kai. These were also $7. I don't know who make them. It just says made in Japan. And I got these at the cross stitch cover. They have a mother, they have like a tortoiseshell color plastic handle. Super sharp, nice Japanese scissors. Just beautiful. So Japanese scissors anywhere from over a hundred to seven bucks. But I will tell you, you won't, be hap you won't be unhappy with any of these. They're real nice. Are we having fun? I hope so. Next is Ginger. Ginger are quality scissors. You can pay, I paid $11 for these on eBay with free shipping. Okay, you can pay anywhere from $11, $12 to, I don't know, 30 or 40. And they're beautiful. They're made in Italy. You can tell the quality is there. Um, I think some of them are better quality than others. I've definitely had a pair, I had a pair of gangers I wasn't happy with. This particular one was sold as new old stock. I don't know if they're made anymore. They have a little curve to them, which I really, uh, and they're really, pointy nosed. I wanted these because I wanted, I just wanted um, something that was curved like that. And they're really beautiful. And this is my, my little cat accoutrement. <laughs> okay. So beautiful Italian scissors. 
These are just a German pair of random scissors that I bought, just to show you. Random German scissors. Ask the seller, are they tight or and sharp? If they're tight and sharp and they're cheap, you can't go wrong. I believe these were five or six dollars made in Germany and it looks like nobody ever used them because they're, they cut very well, tight and sharp. This is a newbie to me. Um, these are made by the Scissorist. Um, let's see what's actually on the scissor. It says here, stainless steel made in the USA by the Scissorist. Anything made in the USA nowadays is hard to find. So, these have a beautiful little figural thing to them. It's brass. It's not like the shiny, like these European. Uh, they're super sharp. They cut. They're nice. They actually come with a leather, a very nice leather pouch. I'm not recommending them only because they're $129, which I think is very high. Okay. You can get them on a website called Tre Chic. Um, if you want to help build a company that's made in the USA, and that's why I personally uh, bought them, okay? I personally bought them because I was trying to, you know, patronize a new American company. You can do that and spend the $129, but I hope they get their prices down because that seems very expensive to me. But anyway, they're out there. They're nice, they're beautiful, there's nothing wrong with them, and they're nice and sharp. But, like I said, I think the price point is a little high. Let's keep going, guys. These, I'm not going to harbor on ones that are sort of generic. Let's see. These are made by Wiss USA. Um... They used to be a USA company, and I think they no longer make these embroidery scissors, and I don't even know if they're in business. The only ones I would recommend are new old stock, meaning or something that has been professionally sharpened, because you just don't know what you're getting. This particular pair was new old stock. They're fine. They're beautiful. Just to show you my... <laughs> but these are made by Wiss. Okay. That name is out there, made in the USA, unfortunately no more. Let's see what else we got. Now, there are some scissors that you might buy that are completely unmarked that you buy because they're figural. This is one of them. Christmas scissors. They're sharp, but you can tell they're made in China. You just know. I have nothing against the Chinese people. It's just that they're made in China. <laughs> this one is very cute. These are actually made in Pakistan. Once again, not a quality scissor, but cute. These have a little, oop, these have a little, like, Christmas guy on there. A Santa, supposedly. They came nicely packaged. Once again, the only scissors that I buy that are made, you know, the cheapies, are figural ones, meaning I just like them. Okay, now, this particular container is mostly, and look at the container, pretty, right? Is mostly sterling scissors. I'm just gonna show you some of these. And I'm gonna tell you what to look for. Sterling. Sterling handle. Beautiful, right? Sterling. Oh, there's one in here that... Sterling. These are all my sterling handles. And sterling. This one's especially darling. It's so small. And actually, I won this in an auction. I wanted them. Paid more than I usually do, but I wanted them. And this one is just a mother-of-pearl ancient scissor. 
But there was something special about this. I never saw a scissor with mother of pearl in them, and uh, they're actually tight and sharp. I asked specifically for her to try to cut a piece of paper, blah, 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 and uh, I fell in love with them. So that goes under the category of I fell in love with these scissors and I had to have them. So sterling. Sterling makes beautiful, beautiful um, pictures. So if you're a designer and you're taking photographs of your work and you want to put a pair of sterling scissors in there, nothing looks better than, than that. Um, if there was somebody who refurbed these, meaning put new handles on them, because all of them are just sterling on the handle and somebody put the scissor pieces, they would make a fortune. I'd be their first customer. And uh, I, would, I would love a company to do that. Um, hint, hint, if anybody's out there knows somebody in the entrepreneur kind of thing, they would actually do very well, a ancient scissor rehab company, but whatever. What to look for when buying these scissors. Number one, price. Don't pay more than 50 bucks, okay? There's a ton out there. Um, this one is not fancy. As you can see, it's pretty plain, but I bought it because it's got some nice thick, some fairly thick blades and uh, it was tight, okay? Don't pay more than $50. You can easily find these in the $30 to $50 range. Now, that itty bitty one that I won in an auction, I will tell you it was an exception. I paid $80. The reason I paid $80 is I've never seen a small one like that before and I've never seen one since. So this was a rarity. But these are not rare ones and you can see they come in. This is like a hammered finish. It's real pretty. This one is more of a flower, Art Nouveau. If you want to use them, I highly recommend you get straight blades and not curved. Although these curved aren't too bad. You see the difference, straight versus curved? The straight blades, you, uh, straight blades, oops, and here's, here's another thing, straight blades and blades that close tightly that aren't loose. If these are loose, they don't go together, you're finished. You can't ever get them. Even, and you can even ask, you know, if you, they have a little screw, but sometimes the screw is just all the way tight. People have tightened them over the years and they've loosened. So ask if they're tight, meaning do they take a slight amount of force to open and close? If they're not tight, stay away. If you want to use them, that is. If, um, so if they're straight and tight, you can sharpen them e more easily. Just keep that in mind. You can use a hand sharpener, scissor sharpener. You can use an electric sharpener, which is very hard with small scissors, but you can. My husband has a grinding stone. He's put them on for me. They did work. So my advice in buying these scissors is buy what you love, look for something figural that absolutely speaks to you. I mean, look at this. Just look at the, the scrolling, the workmanship. My God, they used to make stuff so much nicer. These actually do cut. They're a little, little loose, but they do cut. Um, buy what you love. So let's, let's just uh, summarize in a nutshell. Here are the countries that you can buy scissors from that will be good. If they're made in Germany, if they're made in France, if they're made in Italy, okay? Germany, France, Italy, England, and the US. That's five places, okay? Sort of common sense, but five places. Germ anything German, is going to be excellent. Anything. Sheffield, England, going to be excellent. Italy, going to be excellent for the most part. Again, I have yet to find garbage Italy scissors and probably the Italian scissors are the least expensive. Uh, America, there's not, there's slim pickings in America now, but that new scissorist is, I think they're, they're gonna, I hope they get the price down, but those scissors are beautiful. Okay, 
So if you buy from one of those countries, you're going to be, you're going to be happy. And then buying from those countries, there are different levels. Like I said, Nippies, for example, N-I-P-P-E-S from, and I don't know if that's the way you pronounce it, from Germany was a steal. $30 for those scissors, those German-made high-quality scissors was fabulous, okay? Um, same thing with these Kai, like, God, seven bucks, almost throwaway, you know? So these are obviously, these are from Japan. So all of these, all of these countries, they're going to be fine. Figural scissors, unless they say they're from somewhere, when I say figural, Christmas scissors, whatever, they're going to be from Pakistan. I see a lot of scissors from Pakistan, China, uh, Asia, who knows where. And those scissors um, are going to be cute. Are they going to be like really sharp? Well, they might be. I mean, these are not bad. They cut. But they just don't have any feel to them. They're just sort of, you know, you can tell the quality is just not there. Okay. Um, one quick thing on accoutrements. I just love having these on there. This is my cross one on my nippies. And these, uh, these are made by my big toe. All of the ones I have, the cross. This is the cat. I'm going to pull them all up for you. This is a, um, a pumpkin. I think I have, do I have four? No, I have five actually. This is a witch's hat. And this is a Christmas tree. So these are by far my favorites. And I think, and they're less than $15, just to show you. And the quality is beautiful. They're made so well. So pretty for 15 bucks. Excellent gifts. But my big toe, and I, I have a few different ones that I've received of, as gifts and so forth. And I think my big toe are the nicest. Definitely. Um, this was a gift from somebody. It was quite nice. It had a little shell on it. Very pretty. Um, but you know how much nicer your, your scissors look? Oop, I dropped the scissor. Don't worry about dropping stuff. Nobody cares. That's the way I look at it. Now, how do you store your scissors? Well, I always look for pretty things. So let's, let's show you. I found these beautiful, these beautiful items. These, they're like little, I don't even know what they're for. They're almost, they're too big for toothpicks. So a little bit bigger than toothpick. Um, they're silver plate, cheap, 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 thrift store. And look how pretty the scissors look in them. Just beautiful, functional. These scissor frogs, I highly suggest, in my opinion, you get the ones that are meant to go together, meaning they came as a set. This one's real pretty. Came as a set. Thrifty store fine, once again. Um, this particular thing, now I have two of them, actually. Uh, I found at the thrift store. This thing was, uh, what was it, 15 bucks, 20 bucks, something like that, because it's a sterling on the bottom. But this actually fits scissors quite well, just to, you just sort of lay them in here. See? And they look pretty because especially if you have your scissors with your, your scissors with your pretty things hanging off, look how pretty that's going to look. Look for interesting ways of storing your scissors. Why not? You know? Why not? Um, I think that's it. I'm just wondering, did I forget to show you anything? Or I don't think so. The only... And finally, yes, finally. Use your scissors. Okay? Use them. How ridiculous is it to have scissors that you're just afraid to use? They're too good. Aha! I did forget something. Let me show you a pair that I haven't used that I'm guilty of. These are made in Solingen. I'm going to use them. I'm going to take them out of here. They're beautiful. Are they the end all? No. But they're beautiful. Sharp as can be. 
The handles, uh, I mean, figure all these gold wash are beautiful. These are made by, by somebody named Wilhelm Boker. And actually, I got them on eBay, I think it was 50 bucks or so, maybe a little more. And it, they cost 204 euros, the receipts in the box. Apparently, the person never used them. And these are the, a little figural of how they were made. They're handmade in Solingen, Germany. And that's where they were bought. I'm assuming these are euros. They could be, I don't know what else, zero two, maybe. With, I don't know. Whatever they were, ST. What is ST? Hmm. I don't know. Let's see if they were, what is ST currency? Does anybody know? Tell me, please. ST currency. ST currency codes by country. Let's see if ST currency codes. This looks like it was in Germany. Um, it was the it was the euro, but I don't know what the ST means. But in two in seven two two oh it was two thousand and two or no two thousand fifteen. This would have been a this would have been a euro. Okay, two hundred and four euros. I mean that's that's a lot of money for these scissors, but they're lovely. They're beautiful for what I paid. They're perfect, and they're brand new. I mean, you could tell the way they were wrapped in the box. And I, I just can't, like, take them out of the box. They just feel like they belong in there. So beautiful. And they came with a little, like, sheath. <laughs> and they were somebody's gift or whatever, and uh, they never used them. So I keep them in the box, and I am going to use them. We'll christen them somehow. Um... That was my last pair I was going to show you, and I almost forgot to show you, but I, I wanted to get these to you as an example of what you shouldn't do with your scissors. Do I have too many? Absolutely not. This thing looks so pretty on my, on my counter. Whoops. And uh, we use them. We use them. And I especially like using my antique ones, imagining who used them before me. So I hope you learned a lot, maybe about pricing, about what to look for, what not to look for, what to buy, what not to buy, what to pass on, and enjoy. And Ragnar says, enjoy as well. <laughs>